Hey guys, welcome to Bodyweight Basics session number two. As always, you don't need any equipment today. Let's begin with some regular cat raises. Get up on your toes and think about your breathing. In through the nose and out through the mouth. I'm going to do the whole session with you today, so go ahead and just keep your eyes on me and I'll show you the proper technique and get you through the proper amount of repetitions. I'll also explain why you're doing what you're doing. Alright, this time, heels in, toes out, calf raises. So we're just hitting different parts of your calf muscle here and warming up what's called ankle extension. So we're trying to get mobility from the bottom of your body up to the top. And so here we go with narrow calf raises. This time toes are in, heels are out. Again, you should feel each part of your calf, which is your lower leg muscle, warming up here. Nice and smooth on the tempo, and again, gentle reminder for that breath. Next, place one leg in front of you with the toe up. Scoop your hands as close as you can to the floor, starting gently and eventually working your way deeper and deeper in each rep. This is targeting the hamstrings, lower back, and glutes. This is considered a dynamic warm-up, which means you're moving while stretching and activating. Great tempo, and you're looking awesome to start. Right up next, take a nice wide stance. We're going to do what's called a lateral lunge. So you're going to step to the side, push off, and come back to your starting position. It's really similar to the movement you did in session one, but this time we're adding movement in to make it a little more challenging and to work the legs and glutes a bit harder. One thing you'll notice in all my workouts is that we work in multiple planes of movement. This is to prevent injuries and replicate activities of daily life better, which makes it functional. This is a lateral movement. Awesome job. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Step out, push off back to center. You'll notice both my feet are facing forward and the inside leg stays nice and straight and that's where you should feel a great stretch where you're powering more from the outside leg. Gentle reminder for that even breathing through the nose, out through the mouth. That helps ensure that you have great posture and that you don't hold your breath or become short of breath and strength movement like this. Almost there on your lateral lunge. You'll notice I'm barefoot. Again, today you're welcome to wear shoes if you need to. Alright, level one balance reach. You're going to place the back foot on the floor and keep it there while putting most of your weight on your front foot. If you feel like that's too easy, try level two. The front leg is soft, bearing most of your weight. And your goal isn't to necessarily reach the ground, but to make a nice straight line. Engaging your core, stretching your hamstrings, and training your balance. Your shoulder should feel like it's constantly in line with your back ankle. Think about knitting your diaphragm together, nice and tight through the midsection. Awesome! Let's try the other side. Again, here's level one. Split position, feet about a foot apart. Same movement or level two. The main goal is that you're successful in your balance reach. So if you're constantly losing your balance in, in level two, go back to level one. We're training you to be stable here. So you want to succeed in the movements you're doing, not struggle through a more advanced option when you don't need to. Think about spreading your toes apart whether you're wearing shoes or not. This will help build integrity in the bottom of your foot because there's muscles down there too. Almost there. Great work. All right, up next we're gonna do a windmill. Raise one arm over your head, make a fist, and pull that shoulder down into the joint. Reach slowly down towards the ground, keeping your legs straight. It should feel like you're trying to line up your fist and your fingertips. Reach as far as you can go. It's okay if you can't quite reach to the floor yet. This works your spine, your hamstrings, and your shoulder joint. It's important you do that part right there, the shoulder pack. So if you missed it, rewind and watch me do that again. You want that shoulder to be really stable as you rotate through the spine and reach towards the ground. We're not doing too many reps here. 
just getting a nice rotation stretch and activation. This is a great movement for your whole body from bottom to top. Awesome. Up next, we're going to do a narrow squat. Hands behind the head, elbows out, feet right under the shoulders. Don't worry about your depth, just pretend like you're sitting in a chair. Keep those elbows out. That should help remind you to keep your chest tall and open. Here's a view from the side so you can see my posture. I'm not concerned with depth just yet. I want you to get the hang of stacking your joints. Knees over ankles for the most part and shoulders over hips for the most part. Everyone squats differently, so don't stress too much there. Just make sure you're being stable. Okay, forward arm circles next. Make small circles going forward, and then we're gradually gonna make the circles bigger every 10 seconds or so. Keep your eyes on me, and just warm up the shoulder joints. Nice circles, nice circles. You'll notice that we worked from the bottom to the top, just like I mentioned in the warm up. Here we're working those shoulders, getting gradually bigger, Toning the shoulders, training mobility. Looking awesome and looking strong. We're almost there. Push, push, push. You should feel some light fatigue now. And that's what we're going for. Some endurance and some mobility. Almost there. Woo! Awesome. Give the arms a break with a quick tricep stretch overhead. Here's what it looks like from the back. This is a static stretch, so we're gonna hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds to let those arms rest and then we'll hit the other side. Here we go, switch sides. Now we are gonna do those arm circles again, but we're gonna go backwards this time. Take a deep breath into that stretch. And here's what it looks like from the back. Awesome job. All right, here we go again reverse arm circle. So we're going to go backwards this time. Start small. Circle, circle. You know what to do this time. We've just changed directions. And we're going to gradually get bigger about every 10 seconds. Again, working muscular endurance and shoulder mobility. There you go. Getting those arms nice and big. Looking awesome. Really big circles now. Train those arms and push through some of that fatigue. Let's really get the arms going here. You should feel it on this. Big circles. Embrace it. Good job. Almost there. Relax. Let's stretch again this time across the body. Targeting the triceps again. A few deep breaths here. The floor is a bit hot for me today, so I'm a little extra pacing there for me. Again, you may wear shoes if desired. I prefer to do a lot of my body weight sessions barefoot though, because I like to build the integrity in my feet. That is optional. You're welcome to wear shoes, especially if it feels safer for you. Alright, let's get into another dynamic movement. This is a forward lunge to a chest press. We're alternating sides, so switch legs every time. Here's the front view. Forward lunge and a push. This is a great compound movement, which means we're training upper body and lower body at the same time. Of course, it's a little bit more muscular recruitment and uh, change of coordination a little bit. It also crosses planes of movement, so you're moving front to back and a little bit through that rotational or transverse plane of the chest push. Hang in there. This does train your balance a bit too. Lunges are great for working balance, especially when we're adding a chest press movement in. Awesome job on that movement. Hop onto the ground next. We're gonna do a kneeling plank or full plank to a pole to train our upper back, posture, and core. Level one, which is kneeling. If that's too easy, pop up onto the toes. And again, really pull back. You want to pretend like you're starting in a imaginary lawnmower, which you would hopefully never do in a plank position in real life. But that's kind of the movement that we're looking for. A big pull, like you're starting something. Squeeze your glutes because you really want to minimize rotation through your hips there. You also notice my feet are nice and wide. Walk the toes in. Get a nice little hamstring stretch there to finish that movement. Great job. 
All right, next we're gonna place the feet just outside the shoulders in a wide squat. Fists at your shoulders, punch across the body. Ready? Begin. Now we're gonna do this for a nice long duration, about a minute. So hold those legs. This is working endurance in your lower body. While we work rotation and a little bit of cardio in the upper body. If you have hand weights, you're welcome to incorporate them here. But really, we want to maximize the rotation. So turn those shoulders as much as you can and punch as quickly as you feel comfortable while holding that nice low squat position. I'm going to let you work hard here. You've got about 30 seconds to go. So hang in there. For an added push, try going up on the toes. This is going to make it a lot harder on your balance, but it's a great challenge for your ankles, legs, and your overall balance. So give it a try if you'll feel comfortable. You can always come back down to the heels if you'd like. Now give me a nice hard push all the way through the finish here. Awesome job. Shake it out with some light hamstring curls as you rock side to side. We're going to ease into our next cardio-based movement. So just bring the arms in gently here as you start to catch your breath. This is just an alternating hamstring curl, so I want you to really start pulling those heels to the back of your legs, training the back, the legs, the hamstrings, and squeezing the shoulder blades back. You're gonna do a nice smooth tempo now, and we're gonna hold this for another 30 seconds. Hamstring curl with a pull. so much fun today just enjoy this movement it should feel great okay here comes our next one which is a high knee build up first I'm going to start by cueing your upper body think eye socket to hip pocket that's what your arm should be moving like now as my left arm comes up my right leg comes up think about being a puppet on strings you're working across the body this is how you naturally walk or run let's bring the tempo up here so we're cruising and really focusing on driving the knees. Add that slight bounce and as you feel ready, again, we want to focus on getting you up onto the toes as much as possible. That ankle extension we talked about in the warm up. All right, and here we are, fully getting up on the toes now, driving the arms, driving the knees. You're looking really athletic here. Pull up, pull up onto those toes, drive the arms, Pop it on strings, eye socket, hip pocket, and full tempo now. Pull, 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 and push, push, push. <laughs> Looking awesome. You can see my heel going into the butt there, knees coming up. Great job. It's a great progression. Up next, we have karaoke. Watch and learn. If you've never done karaoke before, it's a great movement pattern. It teaches you to cross your midline multiple things going on. You can see my arms coming into the picture here. Let's keep it slow while you get the hang of it. You're essentially just doing almost like a dance move pattern. Step behind, step in front. There's what it looks like full tempo. As you feel you can incorporate more speed or even distance wherever you're at at home, incorporate that and then bring the arms in. So you get a nice little rotation, quick feet, crossing the midline, getting your heart rate up now. You can see me driving that top leg a bit harder now. This is the fully advanced speed and execution. Doing awesome. Give yourself a little push here. Good job. All right, so we're gonna do one more cardio or, or movement, kind of higher intensity movement. It's a balancing hop. So we're going to start just going side to side, kind of get that balance warmed up. Again, tough to do barefoot, tough to do with shoes on. But we're doing a stability-based movement here. So yes, we're hopping and getting a bit of a heart rate in here, but we're also training balance more than anything. So 
Once you get the side to side hop, try going in some different directions. So you'll see me jump over to the side and then back and then to the side. Just try going in all angles, looking over your shoulder, but really that focus on getting your balance before you start the next hop. Awesome. Had to throw in some hot feet there for you. Literally, my feet are burning. <laughs> I had first degree burns on my feet after filming this. All in good fun here. All right, back on the ground for kneeling or full plank rotations. So kneeling level one, if that feels too easy, pop up onto the toes. For a good stable base, make sure they're just outside the shoulders. And now we're training the core stability with rotation. So you're doing a big reach up, your front, should completely open each direction as you line your hands up. This one's great for toning your midsection and also improving your balance in your core. Walk the toes in as we are done with those core rotations. Great job. And hopefully your heart rate settled down a bit as well. All right, we're gonna flip over onto the back for a 90 second glute bridge sequence, so hang in there with me. First, we're going to drive the hips, knees 90 degrees. We're going to do a clapper first. This is great for your posture. What this does is it opens the chest while activating the back muscles. All while in that nice glute bridge position. That's going to train your hamstrings and butt for endurance, as well as your core, while we work that posture movement of clappers. Looking smooth and strong. Just keep those hips up for me. All right, next. Right arm on top, left hand on bottom. This is called a gator chomp. You can see why. You're gonna do a full set with the right arm going up and the left hand going down. Think knuckles to ground. Nice and smooth and a gentle reminder to keep those hips up. We're training posture and then glutes, hamstring and core endurance. Awesome, and you can see I switched hands there, so if you're tracking with me, now the left arm goes overhead and the right hand goes down, bringing those knuckles to the ground. Definite focus on muscular endurance here after we did all those cardiovascular and stability-based plyometrics, so you're doing really awesome here. Almost there. All right, now raise your right leg straight up and do a set of calf raises or ankle extension. So we're really making that left leg work. Single leg hold with calf raise. Switch legs, same thing. Now with the left leg straight up. Keep that core solid, keep those hips level. Awesome job. You can go ahead and hop up for our last exercise, which is going to be a squat hold, again, for muscular endurance. This time for the quad, with the, legs, the leg muscles on the front of your body. So go ahead and lower down into a squat. We can be at the shoulders or even slightly wider than the shoulders. Toes can be slightly turned out. And we want the knees generally above the ankles. However, they can be slightly in front. That's fine. And then we want to focus on our posture, which means our shoulders are over our hips as much as we can. And we're just holding here to train those quads for endurance. Great for toning, great for somebody that's just getting into exercise. You can engage that core, engage the diaphragm, knit that core together, and I'm going to give you a 10 second countdown. We're at six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Well done. Let's do a dynamic forward bend to end and stretch everything out. So reach down towards the toes and then lift the arms back up. A few rounds of this with some deep breaths and a big pat on your back for doing an awesome workout. Just like in session one, you can repeat this workout if you want a full 40-minute workout. Otherwise, I hope to see you back soon for session number three of Bodyweight Basics. Great for a new exerciser or an endurance athlete or somebody post-PT. There's more exercises at kawokacoaching.com. Thanks for joining.